How y'all doing, man? This is the True Man 7. Uh, I know y'all tired of seeing my videos, but I just wanted to do a video for some people who might want a home replacement. I know I showed the Launcher Pro. I'm turning this uh, lighting down. I know y'all saw my Launcher Pro video probably, and I just wanted to show you guys a home replacement that I felt was a little better. So, of course, when I find something interesting, I'm going to show it to you guys so y'all can, you know, save yourself time and trouble and headache trying to figure out, you know, something that you can use this is a home replacement this is not a um rooted phone uh whatever you would call it user interface this is a home replacement it's called adw it's free in the market and you can get it uh right now for free i don't know if they're going to start charging for it anytime soon so i would say go get it now if you're interested in any launcher uh, home replacements this is running on my droid x i'm not going to do a video review of the phone because i mean i've already done that so uh, this home replacement, if you've seen my Launcher Pro video, is kind of similar to the Launcher Pro. Uh, there's some ad additions and there's some takeaways. It does not have a 3D drawer uh, for the applications, but it does have the Galaxy S application drawer, which means you can swipe from left to right, um, add groups. Um, like, let me show you all. I have a group I set up. It's called Games, uh, and that's just all my game applications will be uh, put into one group, you see, and you set that up how you want, but I usually keep it on all groups or whatever. That's all applications. So that's the application draw. So you don't have a 3D one. You can have the scrollable up and down one, but I kind of like this left and right swipe thing, and I also get to see the background of uh, my wallpaper. Uh, that wallpaper is actually one of the themes that you can get, which is free. Some themes cost, some of them don't. If you've had any um, home replacements, you know what I mean by themes. But if you don't, I'll go into ADW settings and theme preferences. And as you see, it's the Iron Man theme. Uh, but you can go and select the theme, and it'll show you the ones that you have downloaded. Or you can go and say, oh, no, 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 get themes. And it'll take you straight into the marketplace uh, and show you just the ADW themes. So you don't have to go in and type in ADW themes. You can go straight to the launcher and find them. And see, they cost some of them cost money, some of them are free, and they have a long list of them. My favorite was the uh, Iron Man. It was all the way at the bottom, so you had to scroll for a while. So enough about the themes. As you see, it does have the uh, jump to home page. You can pinch to jump or press the home button, and it'll jump you to a home page. Uh, hold on, this battery's down on this air. I'm trying to finish this video because battery's down. You can pinch to jump. As you see, the seven home pages. They start you out with five. You can add uh, home pages at your discretion. Uh, as you see, you can add them like Galaxy S phones do, and you can also swap them left and right and choose a default screen. Um, you have the dock bar, and you also have the Nexus One page uh, tap uh, icons. Uh, the dock bar can be configured from left and right. You can have a different application set there. Instead of just the browser and the dial pad, you can have something else there. Or you can have the endless dock bar down here set for applications. And as you see, my theme changes the uh, icons. Or you can use stock icons, but I like, kind of like the Iron Man icons. As you see, my Google on um, Gmail kind of changed a little bit. So that's just one of the theme additions from the launcher. But you can set the uh, swiping speed. So you see how fast it um, switches between screen to screen. That's because I set it like that, but you can have it move slow if you want. I don't know why you would want it to move slow. I like my phone to run pretty fast. So everything runs really smooth. It doesn't lag. I haven't had lag at all, and I've had it for about a day or two. And Launcher Pro started messing up within a day. Um, as far as previous widgets and applications, you cannot use every widget. You can use Motorola widgets, but the only one I'm having issues with is the Quick Contacts widget. I can't speak for HTC. I'm pretty sure they won't let you use HTC widgets in here. But as far as Motorola go, you can't use the Contact Quick Task, but the rest of them work just fine. Qu contact Quick Task just does not work, period. But the social networks and the uh, social uh, status updates all work. I haven't had no issues with those. You can size the widgets wherever size you want when you add them. Um, you can have ver uh, columns and rows, and that's the way you make it a certain size. Like this is a Twitter application. Let me swipe over. Right here, it usually takes up uh, up to where this weird uh, NFL mobile icon is. It takes up half a page. But instead of that, I had it taken up one-fourth of the page. So it's kind of useful to be able to set it to which size you want it to be. Um, I think that's about it. They don't have their own custom uh, widgets and applications. They do have their own um, custom shortcuts, but 
I don't really get into that. I just deal with the normal stuff that I want to use. Uh, you do not get this clock. This is a beautiful widgets clock. It's downloadable through the market, but it does cost money. So if you want something that seems like an HTC clock, uh, this one is the exact same clock to me. It gives you a desk clock. Uh, you can tap the date and have your date pop up. I mean, calendar pop up. As you see, I don't have a notification bar. That's because I chose to take it away. You can um, add it through the ADW settings or have it as, uh, because they have swipe gestures. You can swipe and it'll show my notification bar. I like the notification bar, but not having it makes my phone look just that much bigger. That little spot right there takes away from some of the size. Not nothing major, but you can swipe to take it down. Once it appears, you can um, swipe down your notification bar. So, I mean, it's there or it cannot be there or whatever. You can swipe down and do anything else, like launch the browser or something like that. Uh, and you can also swipe to get your dock bar to show up. So that's just all I wanted to show you guys. Um, I hope y'all liked it. I hope you probably downloaded it. If not, uh, whatever. If you do then <clears throat> and have any questions, I'll be glad to help you out with your uh, home replacements. And as I said, this is free in the market as of right now. So go get it before they start charging because, you know, developers sometimes need some money so they can make new stuff. Um, so that's about all, y'all. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one. It's the TrueMan7 ADW Launcher Home Replacements.